Hey there YouTube. Today I'm doing a quick video review on this WEN caliper. It is WEN model number 10761. I got this caliper for $11.66. I purchased this because it was the lowest price caliper that went two thousandths of an inch and also had fractions because I am not good at math. Alright, so you have three buttons here. Middle one's the power. Then you have your scale here or your units, which is millimeter, inch, and fractions of an inch. So let me just show you here. You open this up. Right now I have it on fractions. So let's say you wanted quarter of an inch. Let's see, I can get there, I can get there. Five. It's a very precise caliper. <laughs> Come on, come on. So usually calipers that are this precise have a little dial knob on the top that you screw. Uh, this one doesn't. The one that did was like an extra 10 bucks and I don't really need that. Um, uh, so you'll see that this is at 0.25 inches. So when you go to fractions, it'll show one quarter inch. Just like so. Or 6.35 millimeters or 2.5 inches. Pretty cool. And it also shows all those tiny random fractions that you will never use. But it's good if you got like 1 in 16th or whatever. And um, yeah. And it goes from zero millimeters to 157.03 millimeters or 6.1815 inches or 6 and 23 128 It does have a marked ruler in case your battery dies, which I have had happen before on a caliper. So it's really nice to have it still written. Uh, so you'll see this is about 40 millimeters. It's right on the edge of the casing that's where your mark is so 40 millimeters it has the standard caliper features like to measure in between something and to measure over something the battery for this comes with it and it is a cr2032 and you just pop this little cover off here and put it in there it took about a second to do that very very easy it comes with a nice plastic carrying case. I'll probably not use it, but it does come with it. Fits right in there. Snap shut. Does have plastic hinges, so those will probably break relatively soon. Here is the manual it comes with. It's pretty good. So one thing, if you're looking at the manual, you'll see here it says that the resolution is 0.01 millimeters but on the actual tool itself if you flip this bad boy around it says the resolution is 0.1 millimeters so that is obviously a typo since the resolution is 0.01 millimeters and reading this manual, I realized that I've been missing out on some features of a caliper for a long time. Um, you can actually do a depth measurement with that little thing that sticks out at the end that pokes you in the pocket. And you can do a step distance measurement by using the pawl there um, and the head to measure an object. So. Mine is kind of blown right now. I didn't know that this was offset for a reason. So say I had an object and I wanted to see how tall it was. I could set them both on the surface, push down like so, and that would tell me that the object was 15.65 millimeters thick. Or I could just go like this. Or, all right, and I never knew this. Uh, you can use this little pokey thing here and 
pop that down and you can also use that to measure. All right, and just in case you lose the manual and you're looking up this video in the future, there you go, there's a little scan of the manual. Uh, one thing to note is that if the display is flashing, that means your battery's low. And here's the warranty statement, which basically says that it's covered under warranty for two years. And I'm kind of curious if this will auto power off after any amount of time. So I am going to set this here and see how long before it powers off. All right, there, it finally powered off. Don't know how long that was, but I'll put it up on the screen. I'm gonna guess about six minutes. One problem people did say in the reviews is that if you jostle this, it'll automatically turn on. And I would have to agree that that is kind of a flaw in this. Because I have one of these like $2 from China calipers. I had one of these originally. Uh, it didn't have the resolution that I needed, obviously. Um, and the problem with this one is that if you did bump it, it would turn on just like it just did. And so I was just going through all these AG13 cell batteries. Um, and so that was one reason I wanted to buy this is because it had a bigger CR2032 battery. But this suffers from the same issue where you don't turn it on by pushing the power button. It turns on the second that you move it. Let's see if I can get it to turn on just by hitting the table. Okay, so it doesn't turn on easily. But let's just pick it up. Yep, turns on. Or, say if it's off and you just drop it. Oh, huh? it didn't turn on. This one might last longer than my other one. Yep, didn't turn on. All right. Let's see if you can turn it on in the case on accident. And yes, you can turn it on. So what they should do on these is require you to press the power button. And if it determined that it was powered on in the wrong spot, it should just tell you to re-zero it or something even though it does seem pretty accurate, even if you... power it on mid-stroke. <laughs> Be sure to buy a couple extra batteries. But for $11.66, this is not a bad deal. So I have here a Harbor Freight feeler gauge. Um, I picked out two gauges within the resolution of the caliper. We have 0.05 millimeter and 0.06 millimeter. So it should be able to tell the difference between these two. Okay, it says 0 0.04 on that one. Let me go down and zero this out. All right, measure and clamp. It says between Okay, it's saying 0 0.04, 0 0.05, or 0.06 millimeters. It's kind of all over the place. Like I said, without the little lock and spinny thing to get precise measurements, these are kind of jumpy. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next one. Here we have 0 0.06 and 0 0.04. And it's measuring the 0 0.04, hey, at 0 0.04. All right, let's do the 0 0.06 millimeter, and we'll do that. All right, same 0 0.06 to 0 0.07, but uh, this is a Harbor Freight feeler gauge set, so this might not be accurate. Um, and, you know, we've got two cheap Chinese things here. <laughs> if you're looking for precision, and tools that are calibrated 
Amazon's probably not the place to go. You might want to check out your local Mac tools or whatever. But um, for the home hobbyist, this thing's pretty cool. Hope this video helps someone out there, and thanks for watching.